Hi there everyone and welcome back, this time for a look at how I recommend you revise ahead of a chemistry assessment. Your revision needs to be very carefully organised, and I personally believe there need to be five key stages to this. Some stages happen each week, some stages happen each time you pick up a book. I'll explain them all, starting with planning. You must plan. Your plan needs to be realistic but challenging, as this way we can make the subject matter more meaningful without getting overwhelmed. Find out what works for you with the layout. Some people like a paper weekly chart because they can pin it up and commit to it. Others like to record everything via an app because it will send them notifications. Why not try them all in your first year of study so that then you're ready with a set pattern by second year and beyond? It's really important for me to mention as well that rest breaks should be a very careful part of your plan because nobody wants to be wiped out by their revision midway and find they can't commit to the schedule. Music can also help, but don't let it distract you. Lots of apps have study playlists of random peaceful music if you're just looking for some background noise. Finally, make sure your plan includes spaced repetition of content, because this way you're giving yourself lots of opportunity for better recall according to the Ebenhaus forgetting curve. My second recommended stage to your revision is previewing, and you've got to make sure as a part of your plan that you've incorporated time to do this the evening before the next day of revision each time. So what are we doing? We're looking ahead at the topics you have timetabled for the next day and then doing some reading, simple note taking, some vocab work, key terminology, watching online tutorial videos, or perhaps even reading over the specification so you're familiar with the expectations the exam board has of you with regards to that topic. What we're aiming to achieve is a trajectory for the day ahead so that the revision isn't just aimless, it's targeted towards the skills you want to make rapid progress with, and it means that the next day of revision will be far more productive. Stage three is review and create, and it's time to start putting the real work in. Remember throughout this stage that it's better to spend one hour doing something meaningful than two hours doing something else. Your work needs to be challenging and focusing on the higher order skills associated to each topic. As this revision is not first contact learning, you should be covering material you have already seen before, but then experiencing new scenarios of it. Flashcards here can be great, and there are lots of apps which have some done already, perhaps even for your specific exam board. From my own research online, I found that the best flashcards are those described as five-sided flashcards. These use key terms, definitions, explanations with images, sometimes this is called dual coding in teaching, and then links to other topics finished off with differences to other topics, including non-examples. This structure will make the content more interactive as you are reviewing the material, and it prevents you from falling into the trap of just copying out the notes that you've already done in class. If your current pattern of work is to just keep writing out what you've already done in the classroom with your teacher, then your notes are just gonna get simpler and simpler each time, and the challenge isn't there. This kind of revision makes it more meaningful, it focuses on those higher order skills and insight that you're gonna need for success and application, and it keeps you busy.
closely linked to stage three, and definitely the most important stage in this list, it's stage four, test and assess. Find out what you know and assess what you need to build on. Here's some very serious advice for you. Do not leave all of your testing and assessing of knowledge until the end of your weeks of revision. Do it as you're going along. Use only official exam board endorsed past questions and make sure you keep a record of what you do. This is without a doubt the most important stage and it should certainly have the most time spent on it to make decent progress. And then finally, we have repeat. With a plan that incorporates spaced repetition, you give yourself a significant boost to recall and will develop confidence with each cycle of revision that you accomplish. This is a major part of your revision schedule and needs to be considered when planning. Otherwise, you can end up feeling discouraged as that whole day you spent revising a topic can very quickly feel forgotten and completely wasted when it comes to the test. You've got to recover the material by repeating it in your revision. I'll drop some links in the video description about the Ebbinghaus forgetting curve that you might find helpful as a part of understanding why repetition of the content is so important. That's it for now. I hope you find my recommendations helpful and until next time, happy revising.